Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject that is uh, unions. So in the previous video I explained about what is a structure and now let us see what is an union. A union is nothing but, it is a memory location. A union is a memory location. So just like structure, it is also a memory location that is shared. That is shared by several variables by several variables of different data types so a union is a memory location that is shared by several variables of different data types so it is just like a structure the syntax for union is syntax just you have to write the union and this is a union tag name it's a tag name, union tag and here the data types are different data types. Data type, member 1, data type, member 2 and so on, data type, member n. And close the union and it should be semicolon. So just like a structured syntax. Let's see the example for this declaration, how the uh, syntax of the union. Union, just write the union name that is a sample. And here I am declaring the data types int A, float B, character C with three different data types and close the union and keep the semicolon. So, this is the syntax of the union. Now, let us see the declaration of union variable. Declaration. Declaration of union variable. So, just like structures, the union can also declare in three ways. So, the first way is union sample int a float b character c and s is the union variable name semicolon so this is one type of declaration declaring the union so with a variable name s the sample is declared with a variable name s okay so how it is stored in the memory location so total it the maximum size of the data byte here, which, which is the maximum size here, the float is having the maximum size. So, you have to take the maximum size memory, that is a 4 bytes. So, this is S, the sample S memory. So, this is 4 bytes. So, the first 2 bytes, the 2 bytes is occupied by integer variable and the 4 bytes occupies the float variable and one byte occupies the character variable. So here, at same, uh, the four bytes memory is used by the three data types. These three data types will uh, use the same memory location. So here, the total bytes here you're using is the four bytes. Four bytes of memory requires for the sample. Fine, means it's a union. For sample union, it requires the four bytes. So whereas in the structure, so, the difference here, you can uh, see the difference here, the structure and the union. In the structure, 2 bytes occupies the integer variable, 4 bytes occupies the float variable and 2 bytes, sorry, 1 byte. 1 byte occupies the character variable. So, total how many bytes requires to store a values data types? So, it requires 4, 5, 6, 7. Total 7 bytes is required here for the structure variables. So, for structure variable, it requires 7 bytes. Whereas, for union variable, it, is, it requires 4 bytes. So, that is the main difference between the structure and union. Union requires only 4 bytes, whereas structure requires 7 bytes to store the data items. Data items with the variables. 
so this is one type of declaration and second type of declaration is union int a float b character c s semicolon okay here i am not mentioning the name so without mentioning them i am just declaring the union variable s third type of declaration so the third type is just union sample int a float b character c just union sample yes I am declaring the union variable outside the union function. So, this is the declaration of unions. Now, let us see the uh, initialization and accessing of the union variables. Let, take, let me take one program to explain the initialization. Initialization and accessing union variable okay so so just like whatever the initialization that is same as the structures just the unions and the structures both the declaration and initialization and accessing will be the same but only difference is it occupies only uh, within the maximum size of the uh, data byte all the data items will be stored in that particular size uh, memory location that is a union whereas structure occupies a, a separate memory location for each data type let's see the program for this union first declare the union sample is a union name int a float b character c close the union okay so in the main program now i'm writing the main program main union sample yes is equal to i am declaring a variable for the union union sam if you want you can just declare here if you want otherwise you just write it in the main program union sample s is equal to i am initializing the values 10 20.5 and a so for integer a i am entering 10 value float b 20.5 and the character a so i am writing printf a is equal to percentile d so s dot a to act to print that to access that uh, value i have to use the dot operator printf b is equal to percentile f s dot b printf c is equal to percentile c s dot c and close the main program so this is how to access the union variables then what will be the output here first a you you will get the garbage value and for b you will get the garbage value it won't take these values and for c it take a so only the variables that is stored at last will retain its value why it is only it uh, here we didn't use the pointer variable to access that memory location so here the operation for accessing members we use a pointer variable uh, that is the arrow to for accessing the memory using the files to access the memory you have to use the arrow symbol to access the memory locations so here for character you no need to mention the pointers ampersand or you can you are not supposed to re use the read or variables like that okay so only the last item that is the character will read this value it uh, the last will retain its value so this is about the unions thank you